Hello, my name is Perry Roth and I'm the instructor of saxophone here at the Hart School Community Division. I'm excited to share a few tips and tricks with you about this upcoming uh, Connecticut 2019-2020 school year uh, all-state saxophone pieces. For alto saxophone we have Paula Maurice's Tableau de Provence. This is a suite written for alto saxophone and orchestra between the years of 1948 and 1955. Uh, Paula Maurice was a French um, French female composer, and this is a collection of short musical postcards that depict picturesque images. Movement one is entitled Dance of the Young Girls. And a few things to keep in mind as you're going through this. The dotted quarter note tempo of 152 is a great tempo to reach. Uh, maybe you don't perform it at that quite, quite at that tempo, but it's a great goal to keep in mind. Throughout this movement, articulation is key. And you may notice in certain editions that the articulations vary slightly. Um, so keep that in mind as you're going throughout. Um, throughout the first movement, we can really generally decide sometimes we're in a one feel, sometimes we're in a two feel. So that is up to you. I, I'm excited to see what, what you choose. Uh, one specific thing in measure 41, that is really that first peak a moment that we want and maybe you put a slight accent on that articulation on that high E but that's really our first goal moment that we have so here is movement one of tableau enjoy <laughs> Excellent. So for movement two of Tableau, we really want to think about what the title means. Song for my beloved. So underneath the saxophone part, there is a serenade going on in the piano. So you can keep that in mind as you're performing this movement. I'll perform it slightly slower than the marked tempo. I'm closer to the eighth note at 160. Uh, a few other ideas, keep your vibrato very consistent throughout so that it's not distracting from the, the note quality itself. Um, a few other ideas, when we get into, yes we're slow, but when we get into these retards, really let the listener feel that you are slowing down. Here's movement two.
Okay, for the third movement of Tableau, uh, the title translates to The Gypsy Girl. Uh, a few ideas. At the very beginning, we're mezzo forte. Really think about a warm, rich sound, saving your fortes for later on, rehearsal two and rehearsal five, where it truly is forte and louder than the beginning. Um, at the beginning, we have one constant line of notes, and then we generally have one note that's higher and one note that's lower. Don't let those notes that don't fit in the context pop out dynamically. For example, we want to avoid this. Obviously, I'm exaggerating those A's, but that's what we want to avoid. We want that A to be part of the line, which I hopefully will demonstrate for you. Um, going on, in measure 22, make sure this long A really has consistent vibrato, whether you're um, uh, you create a, di uh, a vibrato shape within that, that's up to you as a performer, but don't necessarily start this long note with no vibrato, add it at the end, or start with beautiful vibrato and stop it halfway through. Let it be consistent, and then create some sort of shape um, that you come up with uh, throughout with using vibrato on that A. Uh, and measure 71 at the very end, I will um, start this with an air attack so that we don't get a heavy accent or heavy articulation on the beginning of this tia ta ta tia ta ta. And all of these 16th notes at the end, the last four measures, should all be slur to tongue to tia ta ta tia ta ta tia ta ta tia, and so on. Okay, let the, let the end of this movement be really exciting. A little vibrato on the A at the end will be a nice touch. Here's movement three, enjoy. <laughs> Okay, for movement four of Tableau, the title translates to From the Graveyard, the Alicamps, a Soul Size. You may notice from the very beginning of this movement that we do not have a metronome marking throughout. At the beginning, in measure three, where the saxophone first enters, I'll be at quarter note equals 54, and then I speed up and move, adjust a little bit. So I'm between 54 and 58 generally throughout this movement. We have some uh, places where we slow down, the CD, and then we have these odd tempos at um, measure 15 and rehearsal one. Really make sure that we, yes, we're slow, but that we still feel um, the, the tempo slowing down. Um, make sure you really plan out your breaths in this because the, uh, the phrases are so long, you want those breaths to make sense musically. There's certain sections or notes where I will not be using vibrato on, on purpose, and that's to make the times that I do use vibrato that much more special. Um, in measure 41 and 42, I'm actually crescendoing slightly into the downbeat of 42 and then day crescendoing in 42, creating um, this idea so that we grow into it and come down because often growing from low C sharp to C natural can be quite challenging. So if we create that dynamic shape, sort of eases the tension of that connection. So here's movement four of Tableau, enjoy. 